I'm Reese Danielson, I go to Mass Academy at Rockford, and I do Hope's um, Elite. When I started wanting to do Elite, I, um, I really started watching Small Biles, and then that's how it got me into Elite. Because I really wanted to go to the Olympics, and um, the only way I found out how I could get into the Olympics was to do elite, and so then that's how, um, why I wanted to start. Coaching Reese has been an amazing experience. It's been really fun. She's taught me a lot about the sport. Uh, how to be able to push on through challenges, how to keep a child's psyche there, how to keep them motivated. And Reese has been an amazing athlete to, to just work with, you know. She's upbeat and she wants it, so. First I had to get like all these different scores at the, um, at the Buckeye Classic to get into the, the Hopes Championships at the Crowleys. And it was like really hard because I messed up on bars. <laughs> and then I sort of messed up on floor. My coach said, we're probably out of it. And then he saw my scorecard and he said, we're still in it. <laughs> Got to the Hopes Championships. It was, it was amazing just to compete there. And we got to compete in front of Marta Caroli and Valeri Lucan. It was just amazing. <laughs> Went to Buckeye first meet, got a qualified down there for the uh, compulsories and optionals. Uh, very successful there, we made it, we were so happy. Then we went down to Texas, uh, did the uh, American Classics down there, got her qualified through that. That was intense. Um, uh, she did well there, got her qualified, so now we're getting her ready to go to this Hope Championship. Saturday get to um, they have podium training and um, we don't so and exactly get the practice before the meet so um, it's gonna be a little interesting. I just really appreciate everything about working with Reese that she's willing whatever whatever it takes she's willing to do whatever it takes um, whatever assignments we give her. Um, she embraces them and it's paying off, it's showing. Well, on beam, I've got um, a couple new stuff. I've got like front aerials, side somies, um, front tucks and that stuff. And I um, now I get to compete my double full off beam. On beam, I got like my club layout layout and it's um, really cool because you get to do a triple series like on the high beam and then my dismount my double back it's really fun our goal is to make it to that junior elite you know um, not every kid can make it it's a it's a very prestigious thing I really just um I want to go to the PNG or the the AT&T classics or worlds I want to go to the Olympics in 2020 Reese has no conditions on the practice. Um, she makes up her mind that the practice is going to be great no matter what is asked of her. And I think that's one of the things that it takes to be an elite athlete. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting um, new friends and um, competing there and uh, meeting new judges and going from Mari to Caroli. I hope that she goes out there and embraces every moment of it and that she loves being in the environment and that the experience will make her just want more and that she'll be able to see what she's actually capable of. We want that experience of her to compete and upgrade and improve. So as long as Reese is improving and she stays calm and has fun in the arena, I think that we're going to set ourselves up really good for next year when we try to get her qualified for the junior elites. Um, I want her to have fun in this meet. I want her to feel successful and I want her to be proud. I mean, I feel like if a gymnast has that, there's nothing that's going to stop them. I have to keep working hard and that I need to just um, keep up my game. 